so let me get into a few things so we all know the information that's been going on around this whole steve harvey and marjorie harvey situation she was accused of cheating on steve with their bodyguard boom as well as their chef so she actually came out and slammed that speculation and called it foolishness and lies and then there was also a situation where Shirley Strawberry who is an employee or former employee of Steve Harvey was um, caught on a jail call with her ex-husband um, who is incarcerated right now for some charges that I won't get into but some kind of way the the jailhouse call leaked and she was saying some things about Steve and Marjorie Harvey as well as some of the stuff she was saying was that allegedly Marjorie treats them like the help. In any event, Steve was not too happy about these allegations and he had a little rant, you know, about the situation. Um, he didn't come out and address the cheating rumors. He just kind of said that, you know, touch base on the gold digger allegations that Marjorie has always been faced with, as well as he also um, touched base on the fact that he's saying that she was not a factor in, you know, him having a fear that his situation with his ex-wife was already over you know but he was pretty strong in the fact that you know he was tired of this and and all of that there's also been a lot of discussion from her ex-husband who I actually did a video on as well. Um, he was coming out with the tell-all book. I have a couple of videos that I'll put at the end of this video pertaining to this whole situation. But I guess after his rant, he opened a can of worms because Essie Berry, who actually was protecting his ex-wife for a long time, who is Mary Harvey, um, she was allegedly assaulted by Steve Harvey. And she has been having ongoing discussions about a lot of things that has taken place um, over the years with Steve Harvey. She actually has, you know, a lot of court documents, emails, letters phone recordings about it and she also said that she doesn't say allegedly because she can back the information up now me relaying the information I will be saying allegedly so let's get right into it first of all there'll be some names that I'll be saying so his ex-wives are Marsha and Mary Marjorie is who he's currently uh, married to right now. So I don't know, you know, what was up with all the MMMs, Marsha, Mary, and Marjorie. Um, Essie Berry, who is releasing a lot of the information, she actually was uh, the widow. She is the widow of Fred Berry from the What's Happening Now show. And she's also an activist. There's also you know former side chick named terry smith that i'll also be you know mentioning as well so this is kind of just a lot of cliff notes because there's a lot of information that you know being put out there um she doesn't understand how a man can take care of somebody else's kids and not the kids that came from him so she's saying that he's not taking care of his kids the way he did he does with marjorie um also that he ended up settling in court you know the court custody battle that he had with his ex-wife marsha in 2013 because he was getting bigger deals at that time and he needed to have a wholesome family image so Essie was introduced to this situation back in 2013 so that's how long she's been involved with this situation also what I'd like to say is Steve does not like Essie he calls her a co-conspirator and extortionist although she says that he can't prove what you know she allegedly extorted she also says that he had judges paid off and you know there were some names of the judges which i won't say but you know they were paid to remove the restraining order 
um, on him that Essie had put on him, which was for three years. But Steve got the lawyer and the judge to remove it after six months. She also says that there's a warrant out for her arrest in a state she has never been to, you know, due to Steve. Also, so y'all remember when there was some controversy about that tweet sent out from uh, from Steve's account saying, what comedian do you not find funny at all? And Steve came out and said that his assistant was the one that, you know, put that tweet on his um, Twitter account. She's saying she believes he did it because he doesn't let anybody operate his accounts. And I would just like to say as far as that go, I kind of thought myself that it was him. But due to the backlash, he blamed it on the assistant. So when Essie met Mary, the ex-wife, Mary told her that um, the son son who is Winton told her that Steve and Marjorie lived in different bedrooms even back then. So this bodyguard that supposedly is sleeping with so this is some heavy allegations um she's saying marjorie cheated in the beginning of their 